Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to fold Destiny designed by Zhang Renji, which is an absolutely awesome paper airplane that will blow your mind. But first, let me make a couple announcements. The first of which is, as you might already know, the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest for this year is currently accepting submissions. So if you design your own paper airplanes and you would like to see them featured on this channel and have a chance at a bunch of other cool prizes, then head over to foldableflight.com contest. Now, as usual, the grand prize winners will get customized trophies featuring their names and their planes on them, a copy of my book, Foldable Flight's Incredible Paper Airplanes. And not only that, but this year is bigger and better than ever. If you are one of the grand prize winners, your plane will be featured in Angle of Attack, the massive board game that I have been working on that will be featuring 100 different paper airplanes in it. So I think this is super exciting. I'm really, really excited to see the paper airplanes that you all submit. Be sure to head over to foldableflight.com contest to enter. And if you're just really interested in learning more about Angle of Attack, head over to foldableflight.com, scroll down, and join our email list so that you get all of the updates on the progress for that game. Now, with no further ado, let's take a look at Destiny. Zhang Renji, the designer of this plane, is one of the past winners of the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest, and you can see his amazing work on display in this design. It features probably the coolest locking mechanism I have ever seen. Look how clean that is, and that holds the plane in its three-dimensional shape. I'm totally going to steal this locking mechanism and design a plane of my own that features this because I just think it's absolutely amazing. Now this plane flies quite well too, and I would say it's intermediate to advanced. It's not incredibly difficult to fold, but definitely a challenge, so keep that in mind. Now let's see this plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. Three, two, one, go! All you will need in order to fold this paper airplane is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch or A4 paper, and you will probably want a pen or pencil as well. And with that, we're going to begin by folding this edge to this edge. Now with the paper folded in half like this, I'm looking at this edge here as my folded edge, and I want to place a finger here and make sure that these layers stay together in this corner. And basically I'm pulling it so that this folded edge goes right through that bottom corner down there and actually an inch and a quarter or maybe three centimeters past it. That's an estimation, it doesn't have to be exact, but you can see here I'm folding through that corner and placing my crease right like that. Yours should look roughly like this. And then we're going to rotate it into this position here. Our next crease will go through this corner here, but let me go ahead and do it and I'll explain exactly how I'm deciding what angle to make this crease at. Okay, so the idea again is that the crease goes right through this corner over here. And you want this edge to be perpendicular to that short little edge there. So that's how you're deciding what angle to make this crease at. This edge perpendicular to this edge, meaning that's a right angle there. Okay, and once we do that, we can unfold and open this up into this orientation. And we're going to reverse some creases. So the first one is we're folding on this crease, not making any new crease. We're just making it fold in the opposite direction just like that, right to the center. And then we're going to flip it over and fold this crease in the opposite direction. So again, no new creases here. We're just folding along the existing crease, making it go in the opposite way. So when we hold the paper in this position, the top two should be mountain creases, the bottom two should be valley creases. And that should let you kind of pinch and just collapse it right like that. Okay, now while we have the paper in this position here, 
we're going to grab our pencil or pen and basically just imagine a line going straight up from this edge to where it hits this behind it. And you can see I have a nice grid. This is an estimation too. It's not critical that yours is perfect, but you could use a ruler or something like I have here to make sure that yours ends up exactly where that intersection is. And I'm actually going to make another mark right like that at that point. We'll come back to that reference later. Now I'm going to open these layers right along this edge here. That's actually a crease we can use to open the layers and then just continue that crease all the way to the back edge. I'll close that back up, flip it over and do the same thing here. Just continuing that angle all the way through the paper. And as I crease this side, I want to make sure that my crease lands right along the crease that's on the layer behind it, right like that. And now you can see I can open the paper all the way up here and we're going to be using this reference now. So I'm going to flip the paper over and fold so that my crease goes right through that reference point. And I want to make sure that my center crease here lands on my center crease on the layer behind it. Just like that. And now I'm going to flip it over and actually fold that crease in this direction. Open it up, fold the top edge almost to that crease. Just like that. And now with the paper like this, I'm going to recollapse this here into that shape and pull this and land the center crease right along this edge here. So I want to be folding again on that crease there as I do that. And basically I can just pinch everything and fold it in half like this. So I'm making sure this crease lands on this spine and then I'm folding the paper in half and you can see it kind of rounds and you're going to end up, make sure that's hugging this layer here. You can push everything flat and that will make some new creases up here. I know that's a little tricky. Just feel free to rewatch that step if you need. And now we're going to fold this edge here to that edge there. and flip it over, fold this edge to this edge. Now on A4 paper, you're going to want to make a little mark on this layer right where that layer intersects it. So it would be something like this. And you're going to fold from this point to this point on your top layer. So you would like open it up and fold it like that looking for your reference point. With eight and a half by 11 inch paper, which is what I'm using, I can actually just open it up and fold this edge almost to that crease, just leaving a little gap. You'll end up with tabs that are a little too narrow if you do that with A4 paper a lot of the time. Since we've made some estimations in this fold, it might be a little different from one plane to the next, but I'm just opening this up, folding this edge to that crease there. And then the idea is that we're going to be tucking these tabs behind the pocket we have. So I'm going to kind of curl this just a little bit and open that up and swing that in behind just like that. And I'll flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Swinging this in behind the other layers. Well, there we go. Press everything really nice and flat. And now we've already got our wing crease on that top layer, but we need to make that through here. So we're folding from the nose using the existing wing crease, just like that. And then do the same thing on this side. Kind of push it flat like this, brush all those bubbles out and there you go. You have a finished destiny. 
Now, if you throw this, you probably will not need any up elevator at all. But if you really want this to fly very, very far, you can tape this section right here to the uh, body of the plane. And if you decide to do that, you may need to give the plane a bit of up elevator, bending those wings up right like that. And that will help it glide really well uh, if you've decided to tape it. And with that, thank you so much for watching and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. I'm now releasing a new tier where you can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and join the foldable fleet today.